Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are initiating another series which is on logical expressions in ComSol Multiphysics. In real life problem, many times we come across such situations where we need to define an if L boundary condition or we need to define something which is greater than or equal to or you have two options like you have to maintain two different options and if either of them satisfy then you go for a particular direction otherwise you go in the different direction so you can understand those kind of things generally we come across while we handle real life situations so in this series we will be expressing all these things part wise initially i start with a demonstration where we take a particular problem and we try to explain the requirement of those logical expressions then from the upcoming video we will take individual topic and we will learn in detail so i would request you to watch the entire playlist because it will be helpful so initially for today's problem what we have taken we have taken a particular geometry where you can see we have a box and inside that we have another box or you can say a square shaped geometry we have a bigger square shaped geometry and inside that we have a, a smaller square shaped geometry now what basically we have taken we have taken a heat transfer in solid physics that means these things are considered as solid say copper blocks and we have divided into two sections now we want to define a condition like in this particular wall the left wall will be kept at a particular temperature and the other three walls will be kept at different temperature but in the left hand wall we want to put a logical expression and what is that logical expression suppose the simulation start with a condition where the left hand side has 400 degrees celsius or 400 kelvin of temperature and what happens once simulation starts then heat starts flowing and you 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 can see the temperature along this direction keep on increasing now we are defining a condition when the average temperature in the smaller box exceeds a particular temperature then you can actually alter this inlet condition that means if this section becomes sufficiently hot then you may reduce the inlet condition so those kind of logical expression is very um, i mean it's very frequent in real life cases and that's why i thought of doing this problem and explaining all the details so we have actually taken the copper you can see the material is copper and heat transfer in solid has been taken now i right click on it and take temperature i will take two temperature nodes because the left hand side will be defined by a particular logical expression and the other three walls will be kept at a constant temperature so suppose i keep these three walls say at 300 kelvin temperature and the left wall i choose the left wall and i want to put some logical expression here suppose i want to put a statement if else say if t average so we will define this t average parameter in the smaller box so the condition is if t average is less than 350 kelvin then the temperature of this section or the left hand section should be 500k and what if it exceeds it means the t average inside this box if it exceeds the 350 value then i reduce the temperature or the boundary condition at the left hand side and say in that condition i want to keep it 400 kelvin so this is the logical expression so this this is acting like a controller basically heat is flowing through it 
and once uh, it heated up then I am reducing the temperature so this is a kind of discrete control system but in real life situation you may have continuous control system and those kind of things we can also define by logical expressions in ComSol but today I am just taking a discrete example now what I need to do is I need to define the T average as the T average is not defined you can see a yellow error is showing and yellow error means unknown variable T average if you hover here you can see it is showing the unknown T average parameter so we need to define T average before that we need to know how to calculate average in this particular smaller section so in order to do averaging you need to go to definition right click on it and you will get an option of non-local couplings under non-local couplings you have multiple options integration average minimum maximum and those are the geometrical part i am not going into details so those things are numerical expressions and those are very important so as i have mentioned I will go for the option average. So where I am going to take the average, I am going to take the average at the middle smaller box. So I choose this particular portion. Now this node actually telling that there is an area which is defined by this inner box and we need to calculate average in that particular area. But yet we haven't defined average of what? So we basically want to calculate average of T and that we have to define somehow. So try to understand this is two different expression. Average only tells ComSol that you have to calculate an area average. Now why area averaging of what? For that what we need to do? We need to go to definition. I right click on definition. There is an option probes and I take a domain probe. So what is the function of the domain probe? Basically, as the name suggests, you need to have a domain initially. So which one is my domain? The inner box again because I am interested in calculating average of temperature in this domain. So I name this domain as T average. So this is the name, variable name. You can define anything you want if the variable is not reserved by ComSol. So I define it T average and what is T average? This T average will be average of T. So this average is expressed by this AVEOP. So this is AVEOP1 within curly bracket, within bracket. For, we need, you need to write temperature T and this T is nothing but the dependent variable of this heat transfer in solids. So now I have defined, I have actually taught how to take average and then how to take average of a particular variable which is T here. Now once we are done with the calculation of average, we go and we put it here in the temperature boundary condition. We have already put it but now initially it was showing an error now you can see there is no error because we have nicely defined the t average now most of the things are done and we should now go for the solution i am solving it for one second so there should be a particular time scale within which you can see this transition this transition means the temperature is a logical expression here. So if the average goes beyond 350, then there will be a transition at the left hand inlet boundary condition. So for this transition to take place, there should be some critical time scale. I have an idea about that particular time scale and that's why I have chosen up to one second simulation. I know within one second, this particular phenomenon will happen because I have simulated it earlier. So anyway, I click on compute. So you can see the simulation has started.
yeah it is finished now so if i go to probe you can see what's happening here so this is the probe means the average average of what temperature average so as the time progresses from 0 second to 1 second you can see the average temperature what is t average average means average in the inner smaller box section so with respect to time it keeps on increasing increasing and increasing and you can see while it reaches 350 at 0 0.4 second then it almost become average almost become flat why this thing happens because at this point of time uh, the logical expression starts acting so the left hand boundary condition changes and the temperature at the left hand side goes down so we'll show this particular thing how we can actually see this for that what i have taken i have taken a line average i will show it again i'm deleting it here so you have an option derived values here if you right click on derived values you can see an option average so i take the line average option and in the line average i take this left hand section and once i take this left hand section i'm basically calculating the average temperature along this line and i click on evaluate it will evaluate at different time steps so those are the numerical values if you click here this is the plot table graph so you'll see this particular thing so you can see the temperature is varying with respect to time and it varies like this yeah this is the average temperature now we'll show the temperature profile so if you go here so you can see this is the temperature profile at one second so what's happening with respect to time if you just want to see we we can do one thing we can go here and we can show an animation for that we go to animation click on player and if we just play it you can see what's happening with respect to time so this is how the temperature is changing now what you can do is we can take a cut line suppose i want to take a cut line and want to see what is the temperature how the temperature is changing for that cut line what we do we go to data set we take a cut line 2d say we will put a horizontal line here so the y should be 0 0 yeah it's fine it is it should come from minus 1 i guess yeah so we have taken the cut line now i go to go to result right click here and take 1d plot group so in the 1d plot group i take cut line 2d1 for all time steps there are multiple times let us take the option from list and we can actually select the list and then i right click and go to line graph in the line graph i plot temperature so you can see this is how the temperature is changing with time along this particular cut line it's not with time this is with the space and if you want to see for different time you have to choose times from here we can choose all the time steps there are multiple lines so here you can see this is how the temperature is changing and it's uh, if we just take a few example like what it was at 0 0.002 second it was like this then suppose at a higher time step if we take you can see the temperature profile is changing 
yeah this is how it is changing so in this particular tutorial we learned about logical expression if else we learned about domain pro we learned about averaging at a particular domain so in the upcoming videos we will come up with this kind of logical expressions which will be helpful for your model so keep watching this particular series if the videos are helpful do like comment and share thank you